All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. And today I've kind of had a long week, needed a little laser therapy. So I came in, went digging through the pile of things that I have stashed away for those, you know, when I get a chance projects. And I, I found one that I need, okay? Got to have a new tag for the work vehicle. And so this is what I come up with. And this is going to be uh, placed on my patrol vehicle. And so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you where to source these, where to get them, how I go about making them. Of course, using the X-Tool F1 Ultra with the IR mode, you can do it with other machines, but for today's demonstration, we're gonna be using the Ultra uh, because I think it'll do a good job of this and make quick work of it. So let's, uh, let's get started, guys. So the first step is of course, we've got to make sure we got the right settings because even though these things are relatively inexpensive, they're still not the cheapest thing going. So I chose to test the settings on the uh, business cards that I have, the black business cards. And we're going to set that up and we're going to do a little test burn just to make sure that the settings are correct and all that before we do the burn. All right, over here at XCS, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new project. A uh, little tip while we're in here, guys, this is something that comes up with a lot of my files on Etsy pretty regular, is in XCS, if you get one of my files, there's a canvas button right here. And, and I wish they would do a little better job of kind of making that look like it's a button. But if you click that, it's going to bring up this canvas pane. And you can create several canvases in here. And so that's how I save my files is by saving these canvases. I'm pretty sure I know what the settings need to be but we're just going to zap some text down here just to be sure and make sure we got it right. So on this text, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping for my tag and I'm going to put my call number on there because this is what we're going to do is I'm going to put the badge and my call number on this tag that goes on my, my work vehicle. And so we're gonna go over here to engrave uh, the material. I'm gonna go over to black metal business card, which is gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same settings that I'm gonna try on the tag because there's not a setting for uh, tags in here. All right, the one thing that I do wanna do because for some reason I have noticed that it likes to default to the blue light. Well, I want white text. So I'm gonna go over to the fiber. And I'm going to kind of go down through here. And if you look right there, you can see that the, the, the white text is down here toward the bottom. So I'm going to click on that. And the cool thing about the latest updates to XCS is when you click on that, it's going to go ahead and populate those settings for you. And so you're pretty much done at that point. So I'm going to close that out. And we're going to go ahead and uh, run that to see if we get the desired effect. I want to get that white color if I can. So let's see how that works out. There's the results. That is the results from the test that we just did. And the test turned out really nice. It looks good moving forward with the project. All right, so we're back in XCS. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the view on this. Uh, the way I built this jig and everything, uh, the tag should be centered in the work area. Uh, I spaced everything out so that it would be. And so we're gonna, we're gonna play with the text settings on this though. I, I kind of want a different font. I don't want this generic font here. Lots of fonts to choose from. Sometimes that's the, woof. Sometimes that's the hardest part is choosing the correct font. There we go. Oh, where did it go? There we are. So I like that one. So we'll put that right here in the middle. Then I'm going to bring in another image uh, that I have. And let me go over here to my laser files. Should have a copy of the in SVG in here. Uh, there we go. And we're going to need to change the color of that so that we can see it a little better. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and change it to that blue right there. It's not exactly the same color. So there we go. Okay, 5040, the, the, the call numbers are a little big. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Could I possibly make the badge bigger? Put it in the middle. And this is kind of user preference. Guys, how you line this up, how you fit this in here. All right, center that. Can I dig that? Now, the only thing I need to make sure of is that these guys right here, there we go. I keep forgetting most everything in here is set up to be like automatic. Oh, uh, I think this one may need to go over just a buzz. The, the difference in the letters is kind of messing with my OCD. I, I don't want one closer than the other, but <laughs> the, the letters are different. So, uh, I think I like that. I think I like that. Yeah, we're going to go with it anyway. If I decide I don't like it later, well, we can make another one, right? All right, so I think that works. Now, this graphic here, I need to move to the same color as this one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select all of them and make sure our settings. So we're going to go over here, engraved, setting, uh, anodized business cards, go to the easy set panel, fiber IR. And I'm going to go down here and click where we did a while ago, 500 speed, 70. And just, just confirming that everything in here is set to that, that speed. So I think we're good. All right, guys, so that took around 10 minutes. According to the clock on the X-Tool F1 Ultra, it took around 10 minutes. Now, with this, the cool thing about the way that I've got the jig set up and I've got the file in there now is I could, if this, if this were an order of 20, I could literally just repeat the job, repeat the job, repeat the job, and get it done. So that's one of the benefits of the Galvo's style machines, especially if you've got like the pedal, you can batch things out a lot quicker. And I do have the pedal, I'm not using it because it would be on the floor. My luck, a cat would step on it. So I'm just using the, uh, the, the little pad that comes with the F1 Ultra, which to me is awesome. Uh, the F1, if you remember, you had to push the button on the side of the machine and it was a very light machine. So you could actually tip it over if you underestimate your strength, which has happened or you know rock the machine move the materials so i think if you have the f1 i do think the pedal or the button is a good addition but with this machine the little controller that you get with the touch screen and the button seems to do a really good job so again guys short video today i just had to get back in the shop be a little creative uh, to try to get myself out of a funk so that's what we're doing and this is what you come up with so if you're interested in doing these i'll drop a link down below to where you can pick up some blanks and you can follow the video, or if you're an expert, you can just do it yourself without the video. But obviously, if, to do it with the video, you, you would have to be watching the video to know I said that. So that really didn't make a whole lot of sense. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel. And until next time, be safe and have a good day.